I'm just getting ready to go to a very overpriced flat viewing. I'm running a little late. I'm just about to head out. Like, I actually could not afford to live in this flat. It's one of those apartment blocks that have always fascinated me. Like, there's something very intriguing about those flats. So, I managed to book a viewing of one of them, like, very last minute. Like, literally booked it an hour ago, and it's happening in less than an hour. I'm so excited to have a look inside. I'm so excited to take you with me. I don't know how much I'll actually be able to film. But I'm just excited to go in there. I'm really excited to see if these flags are actually worth what you're paying for them. Because these are really like extortionate prices in my eyes for a flat. They do come with like more amenities and like things included that you wouldn't have. Obviously there's a location, like the security and all of that. But that's just a flat that's like completely out of my budget and I don't know, that's just a flat that I don't think I could justify living in, given the price point. But um, yeah, I'm running very, very late, so I'll just finish getting ready and head out to my viewing. so it has been a while since i got back from the viewing i just wanted to get some thoughts and reflections recorded um as soon as possible so that i don't forget honestly i don't know what to think the flat is so expensive that there's very few things that could in my mind justify that price point like obviously rent in edinburgh is becoming extortionate like it's so expensive everywhere but like this rent is basically twice as much as anything that I would consider reasonable. The thing is the flat's nice. Personally, I prefer like old Edinburgh flats with cloisters and all the little nooks and crannies. Just little details that make them special like old architecture. But that's just like what I personally like. These flats are very modern the one that i viewed did have lovely views of the meadows i will give it that from what i found out not all of the flats in that complex end up having these like beautiful views onto the meadows i was really lucky to be able to view that flat during may because the trees and the meadows just started blooming so everything was so beautiful and pink and i ugh, it was just the perfect time but that's pretty much the only justification i could have for living in a flat like that obviously it's a very central location be very close to pretty much anywhere in campus very close to the meadows with beautiful beautiful views it is kind of like a secluded spot like um especially during the fringe when there's like so many tourists in edinburgh you would have a little bit more privacy in your immediate area again it's the price point i just cannot justify it like there are so many nicer flats in a very very close vicinity that are so much cheaper that are still expensive but so much cheaper personally design wise it was not 
my favorite. The flat we viewed had two double bedrooms. Um, one of them had an ensuite and there was like a separate bathroom. So basically two bathrooms in a flat. It's everything you could want and more. Nice, spacious living room. Um, all the appliances were quite modern. It came with a TV, which is not very common in a um, student flat, but I don't know. I just couldn't justify it. I know that there's quite a few flats in Simpson Loan. Um, I'm assuming that are even more expensive than the one that I viewed that have access to like different amenities like a gym. This flat did not. So within the price of the rent, you're literally just paying for the flat, for the location of the flat, for everything that comes within the flat, but you're not getting anything extra in that like community aspect of the flat. Yeah, so in case you couldn't tell, uh, I am not applying for this flat. First of all, just looking at the rent, it's extortionate. But also, um, I know myself, like there's not many... There's not that many things in the flat, even just looking at the photos online that could, in my mind, justify that price point. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I went to the viewing. I've always been curious of one of these flats, and I do think that the flat that I ended up viewing is one of the nicer ones in that building complex purely because of the views onto the meadows. And in the flat in particular that we viewed, you had views onto the meadows from the like living room kitchen area but also from each of the bedrooms if you kind of like peek out you can kind of see from every bedroom so that's lovely but i now it's not i'm currently having to be flat viewing it is a brunsfield flat viewing which i'm super super excited about like i mean obviously the flat will determine whether or not we apply and stuff like that but if it was just the area that mattered to me, like what part of Edinburgh I'd be in. Brunsfield's like one of my top areas to live in. And I'm literally just walking along the edge of the meadows now. Like, the location is ideal.
I just wanted to get my thoughts and reflections on the Brunsfield flat. It's such a nice flat and like the flat itself is one thing like I love the design of those types of flat. But apart from that, the location, I love that location so much. Living very very centrally has been quite rough. The thing is it's not even that far out. Like it's literally a 15 minute walk from the city center. Like. 20 minutes max first of all i think living in a very walkable city has kind of spoiled me in that way that when i hear 20 minute walk it feels like so far away just because i'm used to walking for five minutes to get somewhere but it genuinely is not that far but it feels so different um in a good way like i love that area there's so many more like small independent businesses like cafes and stuff little shops um there's actual bakeries like i could actually go buy my bread and my pastries from a bakery rather than like the supermarket which is so nice obviously the proximity to the meadows like either that flat or any flat in that area is so close to the meadow i'd probably be more enticed to like walk through the meadows rather than like walk around it even if it would take a few minutes longer i think that that's so worth it i'm kind of at the stage where i feel like i'm ready to move a little bit farther out from the city center and it, it, it even feels weird saying that because again it's not like i'm moving outside of the city i'll still be very much in the middle of the hustle and the bustle of the city like i'm sure especially during the fringe it'll be very intense very busy regardless of where i'm at but it just feels a lot more residential which i enjoy i did end up applying for the flat don't know if we'll get it or not i'm very much more enticed to look in that particular area i just love the idea of living a bit more out of reach from the very very central very loud very touristy areas yeah so i think things that last year were a negative for me about like living in marchmont living in brunsfield anywhere in that area um, was the distance and now I'm thinking more along the lines of living 20-ish minutes away from like a smag dab city center Is a good thing because first of all, I'll have more of a work-life balance I'll have a greater separation between where I work and study and where I can relax But also just the idea of walking through the meadows I think will be so lovely so good for my mental health So I'm feeling very optimistic um not even necessarily about this flat in general because the flat itself had several quirks and things that i found quite strange about it but um i'm very optimistic about the prospects of living in that general vicinity potentially yeah but we'll see what happens